Hello, this is Core Tech Korea. The product we're going to talk about today is Brookfield's Rotary Viscometer DV1M model. The DV1M viscometer is an accurate, reliable viscometer. 18 speed choices are available for viscosity measurement. It also shows you the information that you need with LCD display output. In addition, you can measure the temperature by purchasing the optional RTD temperature probe separately. Depending on the measurement range and the characteristics of the sample, you can choose model with DV1M LV, DV1M RV, DV1M HA, or DV1M HB. The following table compares the specifications of each model. Referring to the table, you can choose a model that fits the viscosity of the sample that you want to measure. The components include the main body, stand, spindle, spindle guard truck, power cable, and carrying case. DV1MHA, DV1MHB models do not have spindle guard racks. DV1MLV has for basic spindles, while the other model has six spindles. The guard racks in DV1MLV, DV1MRV are different shapes and incompatible with each other. Rotate the level screw at the bottom of the stand so that the bubble on the horizontal is centered. The installation of the viscometer is complete when the power cable is connected to the power port on the back of the body. If you purchased RTD temperature probe separately, connect it to the connection port. On the front of the main body, there is a wide display, various operating buttons, and bubble horizontal meter. Behind the main body, there are power cable connection ports, RTD temperature probe connection ports, USB type B connection ports, USB type A connection ports, and power switch. At the bottom of the main body, there is a coupling screw that combines the pivot cup and spindle. For LV, RV models, install the guard rack. The guard racks can be installed through a screw hole located on the back of the pivot cup. The guard rack protects the spindle from external shocks. It is also used to obtain accurate results in the low viscosity area. When the guard rack installation is complete, turn the protective cap clockwise to remove it. When the power switch is turned on, the message, remove spindle and level is displayed. Make sure that the spindle is removed and the instrument is level. Then press the next button. Proceed to auto zero for a while. The message, replace spindle is displayed. Press the next button again to go to the main screen. Attach the spindle to the coupling screw located in the center of the pivot cup. The coupling screw must be slightly raised upwards to prevent damage to the pivot with the coupling screw slightly raised. Rotate the spindle clockwise to install it. If you turn it too hard, the pivot may be damaged. If it is difficult to select a spindle, the low viscosity is measured from the low number spindle. Conversely, the high viscosity is measured from the spindle of the high number. The number of the spindle is engraved on the coupling part of the coupling screw. The measurement includes manual mode, time mode, temperature mode, and torque mode. In manual mode, the user directly presses the motor off button to exit the measurement. In the time mode, the measurement is terminated after rotating for the set time. In the temperature mode, the measurement is terminated when the set temperature is reached. In torque mode, the measurement ends when the set torque value is reached. Let me explain the time mode that is commonly used. To set the measurement time, press the option button and then press the select button in the run until menu. Let's set it up with a one minute measurement. Use the arrow keys to select time and press select button again. 
the following are the hours, minutes, and seconds in order, you can set the time of to 99 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. Press Next button after setting the hours. And press Next button again after setting the minutes. And press Enter button after setting the seconds. When setup is complete, press Home button to return to the measurement standby screen. Press the Spindle button and select the spindle number that is joined to the body. Then press Speed button and use the arrow button to set the desired rotation speed. For low viscosity samples, select high RPM for rotational speed. Conversely, for high viscosity samples, select low RPM. When the spindle and RPM are set, the screen shows the maximum viscosity value that can be measured under the conditions. If the maximum measurable viscosity value is lower than the expected viscosity value, you must change the RPM or spindle. If you do not know the expected viscosity value, set the measurement range wider to check the approximate viscosity value. Then narrow the measurement range and measure it again. Prepare approximately 500 milliliters of sample for measurement. If you find it difficult to obtain a sample of 500 milliliters, you can use the Brookfield accessory, such as small sample adapter or cone plate. Turn the height adjustment knob on the right side of the stand. Immerse in the sample of to the groove shown on each spindle. Then press the motor on button located in the lower right corner. The displays show measurement time, measurement value, temperature, setting time, torque, spindle number, and RPM respectively. After the set time, the measurement ends, and you can see the measurement results. If the measured value is not displayed, and EEA is displayed, the measurement range is over. In this case, change the RPM to measure it again and then measure it by replacing it with a different spindle. If the torque value is less than 10%, when the measured value is stabilized, the correct viscosity value cannot be obtained. Therefore, change the spindle or rotational speed and measure it again. When the measurement is complete, press Motor Off button to stop operation. If you set the measurement time as it is now, it stops working without pressing motor off button when the set time is reached. Remove the spindle and guard rick and then clean them sufficiently. When removing the spindle, hold the coupling screw upwards. If you want to measure another sample, you can repeat the measurement using the above method. Be careful not to shock the spindle while the spindle is engaged. If the spindle is impacted, the pivot is more likely to be damaged. When combining or removing the spindle, the coupling screw must be held upwards to prevent damage to the pivot. If the pivot is damaged, contact the place you purchased it or Cortec Korea 48S service. In the case of pivot damage, even if there is a free repair period, it will not be repaired for free. All right, that was a description of Brookfield's rotary viscometer DV1M. For consultation and purchase inquiries, please contact Core Tech Korea. Thank you.